Start at the 8th fret on the B string here. That's a G note. And the 10th fret of the E string here. That's a D note. So we have a G power chord here. And we're going to start by playing an open G. Then we hit the E string. Then the B string. And then the E string again. Now you can usually pick this by going down, up, down, up. Sometimes I like to go down, down, up, down. So we play this twice. Next, move your pinky out to the 11th fret on the high E string. The picking pattern stays the same. Then back to the 10th fret. And now you're going to flatten your index finger along the 8th frets of the B and E strings here. Start again with that open G. We're doing two of each pattern here. After this one, now I move the index finger to the 6th fret on the E string, and then I hold down the 8th fret on the B. That's a G minor sound there. Next, we take this shape and move it back one fret. So now we're on the 7th fret of B and the 5th fret of E. After this, we go to the 3rd fret on the E string and the 4th fret on the B. Start with an open G. Now after that, we're going to start with a D string, an open D string. And the index finger flattens on the 3rd frets of E, B, and G. And we play starting with the high E string, then the B, then the G. So an open D, E, B, G. That gets played twice. After that, we make a D major shape, 2nd fret of E, 2nd fret of G, 3rd fret of B, and start with your pinky also holding down the 3rd fret of the E string like so. Let me play this. And then let go of the 3rd fret on E and strum down for a D major chord. So that last part there was... time we're playing a harmony starting at the 11th fret on the B string and the 15th fret on the E string here using the index and the pinky starting with an open G after two of those next the index finger comes up and plays the 13th fret of B while the pinky holds down the 15th fret of E now the index finger goes back to 11 on B And then after that, we take the next finger to the 10th fret on B, middle goes to the 11th fret on E. After that, the index finger goes down to the 10th fret on E, and the middle comes up to the 11th fret on B. After that, the middle finger moves back to the 10th fret on B, and the index finger holds down the 8th fret on E there. You could also use your ring finger to hold down the 10th fret on B if you'd like. And after that we have one more shape, which is we take this to the 8th fret on B and the 6th fret on E. After that, we play the exact same thing down here at the uh, other guitar is playing, which is holding the index finger flat on the third frets of G, B, and E, starting with an open D string, and then into that D major shape with the pinky down at the third fret on the E string there, and 
taking that off, strumming the D major. <laughs> 